Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel, Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always we have special tributes in today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Thank you. Number 12. Donna Butterfield, a British model and beautician aged 30, tragically passed away following complications during a breast enlargement surgery in Spain. Butterfield, who had goals and aspirations in the beauty industry, pursued modeling while simultaneously carving out a successful route as an entrepreneur with her hair extension businesses, Donna B. and B. Weavable. Her quest was cut short when, despite having a pre-existing heart problem, she underwent cosmetic surgery, resulting in a heart attack and cardiac arrest. The clinic's inability to fully notify Butterfield of the risks, particularly given her health status, and the language barrier in permission papers, have resulted in a police investigation and arrests for gross negligence. This tragic episode emphasizes the significance of rigorous medical examinations and clear communication between healthcare personnel and patients, especially in anesthesia-related operations. Butterfield's loss is mourned deeply by her family, friends and the community she influenced with her colorful energy and business drive. Tributes to Donna Butterfield Number 11. Tim McGovern, a distinguished visual effects pioneer known for his Oscar-winning work on the 1990 film Total Recall, passed away at the age of 68. His wife, Rena Nagandi, shared the news of his peaceful passing in his sleep via social media, marking a profound loss in the film and visual effects community. Beyond Total Recall, his extended career has included revolutionary contributions to other major films, including Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, Dunkirk, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Men in Black, International, and Jungle Cruise. Last year, his dedication to the profession earned him the VES Founders Award and lifetime membership in the Visual Effects Society recognizing his major effect and legacy in the business. His work on the 1982 film Tron launched his career in visual effects, and he was a founding member of Sony Pictures Imageworks. His creative approach to visual storytelling shaped the industry, earning him a Special Achievement Oscar in 1991 for his work on Total Recall. Throughout his career, he has received many Clio Awards and sat on the Academy's Visual Effects Branch Executive Committee demonstrating his vast influence and respect in the industry. Kim Davidson, VES chair, expressed deep grief and shock at his unexpected departure, emphasizing his enthusiasm, devotion, and critical role in the VES's global expansion. In addition to his cinematic accomplishments, he was working on personal projects such as a film and a novel, which his wife promised to continue in his memory. He left a rich legacy of visual effects invention and inventiveness, which has had a significant impact on both the films he worked on and the people with whom he engaged. His innovative creativity and passion to push the boundaries of technology and storytelling have had an everlasting impact on the industry, tributes to Tim McGovern. Number 10. Marjorie Perloff, a luminary in the realm of avant-garde poetry scholarship, passed away at her home in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, at the age of 92. Throughout her lengthy career, particularly at Stanford University, she championed experimental poetry, providing unique insights into the writings of key artists such as Ezra Pound, John Cage, and John Ashbery. Her daughters, Carrie and Nancy Perloff, have confirmed her death. Her distinct approach to poetry criticism, which emphasized explaining a poem's structure and texture rather than looking for hidden meanings, established her as a key figure in contemporary literary studies. Her ability to explain the difficulties of avant-garde and experimental poetry in an understandable manner earned her a large readership outside academic circles. She argued for the recognition of unoriginal genius, 
emphasizing the beauty and innovation in recontextualizing previous writings. Beyond her academic interests, her impact spread to broader discussions about the convergence of art, music, and digital media, arguing for the need for new literary techniques in an age of information overload. Her work not only explored the history of avant-garde poetry, but also engaged with contemporary movements and artists, demonstrating the long-term significance of experimental approaches to writing. Her reputation is defined by her unwavering support for experimental poetry, her decades-long critical labor, and her involvement in altering the literary canon to accommodate more varied and challenging voices. Her contributions to literary criticism have had a lasting impact on our understanding and engagement with poetry. Her colleagues, pupils, and readers grieve her death, having been inspired by her passion, brilliance, and dedication to pushing the boundaries of poetry expression. Tributes to Marjorie Perloff. Number 9. Lorraine Graves, a towering figure in the world of ballet, passed away at her home in Norfolk, Virginia, at the age of 66. Her contribution to the dance world, particularly as a main dancer with the pioneering Dance Theatre of Harlem, provides a long legacy of quality and groundbreaking. Known for her magnificent grace and strong performances, she challenged traditional conventions with her remarkable height and became a symbol of African-American success in classical ballet. Throughout her nearly two-decade career with the Dance Theatre of Harlem, she enthralled audiences throughout the world, playing significant parts that demonstrated her flexibility and technical brilliance. Her portrayal of characters in works such as George Balanchine's Serenade, the Creole version of Giselle, and Stravinsky's Firebird, earned her critical praise while also cementing her position as a leading figure in the dance community. Her transformation from a young girl inspired by New York City Ballet's Nutcracker to a recognized dancer and mentor exemplifies her commitment to her profession and her role in shaping the future of ballet. As a trailblazer, she not only excelled on stage but also made tremendous contributions off stage by sharing her skills and passion with the next generation of dancers. The Dance Theater of Harlem, founded as an artistic response to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination, gave dancers like Graves a platform to prosper and challenge ballet's status quo. Her career exemplifies her indomitable spirit and commitment to perfection, paving the path for future dancers from all backgrounds. Her legacy will inspire and influence future generations of ballet dancers. Tributes to Lorraine Graves. Number 8. Esther Coopersmith, a venerated Washington diplomat and a beacon for Democratic politicians, passed away at the age of 94 at her home in Washington, D.C., due to cancer. She was a nurturing figure for many people, including a young Joe Biden, and she excelled at diplomacy, frequently from her dining room table, making her one of Washington's most iconic social personalities. Her legacy includes decades of political fundraising, philanthropy, and official and unofficial diplomatic efforts, making an everlasting mark on local and international affairs. Her journey began in Wisconsin as the daughter of Jewish immigrants, and she eventually moved to Washington in the 1950s, where she immediately became involved in politics. Though she had first considered running for Congress, she discovered her purpose in influencing politics through her work as a hostess and people connector. Her home became a focal point for developing conversation and understanding among U.S. and worldwide political figures, illustrating her faith in the power of personal diplomacy. Her important contributions included serving in the Carter administration, participating in the United Nations, and obtaining awards such as the United Nations Peace Medal for her efforts to promote world understanding and peace. She was acclaimed for her ability to bring powerful persons together across political and cultural boundaries resulting in major agreements and boosting international cooperation. Notable persons paid tribute, including President Joe Biden, who acknowledged her as one of his earliest supporters, and Hillary Clinton, who praised her for bringing people together to confront global issues. Her efforts in citizen diplomacy, 
as well as her ability to make meaningful connections, had a long-lasting impact on those who had the opportunity to be part of her circle. Her legacy demonstrates the importance of dedicated public service and the enormous influence of unofficial diplomacy. Her efforts cut across political and national barriers, capturing the core of what it means to be a bridge builder in the complex realm of international relations. Tributes to Esther Coopersmith. Number 7. Diana Harrison Wall, an esteemed environmental scientist and soil ecologist, passed away at the age of 94. Her pioneering work made significant contributions to our understanding of soil biodiversity and ecological processes, particularly in the Antarctic McMurdo Dry Valleys. Her efforts to investigate the effects of global change on these ecosystems garnered her international acclaim, including the honor of having Wall Valley in Antarctica named after her. Her early interest in nematodes during her undergraduate studies at the University of Kentucky set the stage for a remarkable career committed to discovering the unseen life beneath our feet. Her career ranged from postdoctoral research at the University of California, Riverside, to key positions at Colorado State University, where she was the driving force of the School of Global Environmental Sustainability. Her study in Antarctica since 1989 has not only increased our understanding of soil ecology in harsh settings, but has also emphasized the inherent link between soil health and global environmental well-being. Throughout her career, she has garnered various awards and accolades, including the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement and Admission into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame. She was a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science and a member of the National Academy of Sciences, demonstrating her wide-ranging influence and esteem in the scientific world. Her influence extended beyond science, she served as president of numerous major scientific organizations and participated to global biodiversity and climate change projects. Her work inspired many and will have a long-term impact on soil ecology and environmental sustainability. Her contribution demonstrates the value of dedicated scientific investigation in advancing our collective stewardship of the earth. Tributes to Diana Harrison Wall. Number 6. Paul Chantler, a renowned BBC radio executive who had a significant impact on the broadcasting business, died at the age of 64, following a brief illness. His amazing radio career began in 1971 at Hospital Radio Tunbridge Wells, and has included crucial roles at major stations such as the BBC, Chiltern Radio, Essex Radio, and the Wireless Group. Known for his knowledge and pioneering work, he helped shape the audio world by co-authoring Essential Media Law an authoritative handbook admired for its insights into libel and defamation law in broadcasting. His efforts went much beyond his executive roles. As a visionary, he was honored for his original ideas and revolutionary impact on radio in the United Kingdom and worldwide. His enthusiasm for the medium was matched by his dedication to mentoring, and he helped many others in the field reach their potential. Colleagues and colleagues recall him as a talented programmer, and a commanding yet approachable figure who understood what viewers wanted from their radio experiences. His enduring legacy has been recognized by tributes from all corners of the profession. Jerry Edwards, a fixed radio colleague, complimented his enthusiasm for new ideas and his substantial contribution to the evolution of radio. Chandler's co-author, Paul Hollins, expressed tremendous regret at the death of a close friend and collaborator. Nation Broadcasting's Jason Bryant praised his programming skills and supportive demeanor. His passing leaves a loss in the world of broadcasting, but his innovative work and guidance will continue to inspire subsequent generations. Tributes to Paul Chantler. Number 5. Larry James Young, an influential American psychiatrist and a pioneer in the field of social neuroscience, passed away at the age of 74. 
As Emory University School of Medicine's William P. Timmy, Professor of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences and Head of the Division of Behavioral Neuroscience and Psychiatric Disorders at Emory National Primate Research Center, his groundbreaking research has significantly advanced our understanding of the neurobiological foundations of social behavior, particularly the roles of oxytocin and vasopressin in social cognition and bonding. His groundbreaking research, which included the creation of behavioral paradigms for screening medications that improve social cognition, paved the path for novel ways to treating psychiatric diseases. His leadership at the Center for Translational Social Neuroscience demonstrated his dedication to bridging the gap between scientific study and clinical practice, with an emphasis on understanding and repairing the human brain. His study not only piqued the interest of the scientific community, but it also reached a wider audience via a National Geographic program, showcasing his significance beyond academia. Raised on a farm in rural Georgia, his early curiosity with the natural world fueled his interest in biology. This interest drove him to earn an undergraduate degree in biochemistry from the University of Georgia, followed by a PhD in neuroendocrinology from the University of Texas at Austin. His postdoctoral research at Emory University, which focused on the genetic basis of social behavior, paved the way for his subsequent successes. His study with prairie voles, which demonstrated how a single gene change may modify mating behavior and social bonding, not only revealed important insights into the biological underpinnings of social attachment, but also caught the public's imagination. His ability to convey complex scientific topics in appealing narratives earned him a reputation both within and outside of the scientific community. Number 4. Mike Green, a stalwart of Michigan's political and community life, passed away at the age of 75 after a courageous battle with cancer. His record as a former state politician, having served in both the Michigan House of Representatives and the Senate, is one of unflinching commitment and remarkable service. His rise from tool and die maker at General Motors to renowned political figure demonstrates his strong attachment to the society he served. Green a Goodrich High School and Flint Junior College alumnus, entered politics with extensive expertise and a genuine concern for local issues. Beyond his legislative accomplishments, his service to Tuscola County on different boards and commissions demonstrates his commitment to local governance and mental health awareness. An avid outdoorsman, artisan, and traveler, his interests outside of politics reflected his diverse personality and love of life. In remembering his father, Phil Green stressed Mike Green's strength in the face of illness and his commitment to the well-being of Michigan's rural towns. Green's advocacy for constitutional rights and profound understanding of his constituents' concerns were hallmarks of his political career. As we commemorate Mike Green's legacy, his family's call to memory and celebration of his life's work rings true. His dedication to public service and community welfare leaves an everlasting mark reminding us of the immense impact that one person can have on their community and beyond. Tributes to Mike Green. Number 3. Herbert Cromer, a visionary German-American physicist and Nobel laureate, passed away at the age of 95. Cromer, known for his pioneering work in designing semiconductor heterostructures for high-speed and optoelectronics, revolutionized electrical and computer engineering. His significant research established the groundwork for advances in mobile phone technology and numerous semiconductor devices, which benefited many facets of modern life. His interest in physics began in Weimar, Germany, and led to significant scientific breakthroughs. After receiving his PhD from the University of Göttingen, he worked in a variety of research facilities and academic posts, including at the University of Colorado and the University of California, Santa Barbara. There he guided semiconductor research toward compound semiconductor technology, making a substantial contribution to its evolution. Among his various honors, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000, along with Jorez Alfarov, for their contributions to semiconductor technology. He is a member of both the National Academy of Engineering and the National Academy of Sciences, and his work has contributed significantly to advances in engineering and materials research. His contributions to science, as well as his work as an educator, leave a lasting legacy. 
He affected generations of students and researchers by co-authoring the textbook Thermal Physics, as well as Quantum Mechanics for Engineering, Materials Science, and Applied Physics. His innovative problem-solving style, as well as his contributions to semiconductor lasers and molecular beam epitaxy, have made an unforgettable impression on the scientific world. Tributes to Herbert Cromer. Number 2. Ross John Anderson, a famous British researcher and specialist on security engineering, passed away at the age of 67. As professor of security engineering at the University of Cambridge, he made essential contributions to cryptography, security, and technology policy. His pioneering work included designing cryptographic primitives and co-creating the block cipher Serpent, which was a finalist in the Advanced Encryption Standard Competition. He was well known for his insistence on seeing computer security in broader social, human, and political contexts, emphasizing the intricacies that go beyond simple technological issues. His dedication to public advocacy was demonstrated by his foundation of the Foundation for Information Policy Research, which sought to influence information technology policy. His critical attitude on trusted computing, particularly Microsoft's Palladium project, and his insights into huge database vulnerabilities reinforced his opinion in the inherent trade-offs between accessibility and security. Known as Anderson's Rule, this idea represents the unavoidable trade-off between system usefulness and security. His influence extended beyond his scientific achievements, since he was a strong supporter of academic freedom and intellectual property. His activities at Cambridge, notably his participation in the Campaign for Cambridge Freedoms and membership on the University Council, demonstrated his commitment to protecting intellectual and political integrity. His impact is also defined by his seminal book, Security Engineering which remains an invaluable resource for understanding the diverse nature of security concerns. His appointment as a Fellow of the Royal Society and the Royal Academy of Engineering, among many other distinctions, demonstrates his enormous impact on the area. His dedication to a deeper understanding of the relationship between technology and society has left a lasting effect on the area of security engineering and beyond. Tributes to Ross Anderson Today's top headlines. News 1. In a recent announcement from his office, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is set to undergo surgery for a hernia on Sunday. The procedure comes after a hernia was discovered during a routine checkup on Saturday night, prompting immediate action. During Netanyahu's time under full anesthesia, Yariv Levin, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Justice, will step in as Acting Prime Minister. This temporary shift in leadership underscores the seamless continuity in governance, even as the Prime Minister attends to his health. The nation and its citizens await the successful outcome of the surgery, anticipating Netanyahu's swift recovery and return to his duties. News 2. Patrick Schwarzenegger mourns loss of Gen V co-star Chance Perdomo. Patrick Schwarzenegger has shared a heartfelt tribute to his late Gen V co-star Chance Perdomo, who tragically passed away in a motorcycle accident at the age of 27. Schwarzenegger, who portrayed Golden Boy alongside Perdomo's character Andre Anderson in the Amazon Prime Video Superhero series, expressed his grief on social media, stating, What a young, talented actor and a great friend, gone way too soon. The loss has deeply affected the Gen V cast and crew, with production for season two being delayed to honor Perdomo's memory. Schwarzenegger's tribute highlights the profound bond shared among the cast as they navigate this period of mourning for their talented colleague and cherished friend. News 3. Kate Beckinsale's hospital updates leave fans worried. In recent weeks, Kate Beckinsale, the beloved 50-year-old actress known for her roles in Underworld and Serendipity, has sparked concern among her fans with a series of cryptic hospital bedposts on social media. The actress has yet to reveal the nature of her medical condition, leaving followers anxious. Her latest post, featuring fluffy rabbit socks with a simple, Happy Easter message, has intensified worry, drawing attention even from stars like Gwen Stefani who voiced their concern. Beckinsale's posts, amidst sharing personal losses and tributes, 
highlight her resilience but leave a cloud of mystery regarding her health status. Fans and friends alike are sending their best wishes for a speedy recovery, hoping for positive news soon. News 4. Colin Corrigan celebrated as one of reality TV's original stars from the groundbreaking BBC show Castaway in 2000, has passed away at the age of 70. Corrigan, known for his spirited and rebellious nature on the show, lived on the remote Scottish island of Terencey with his family, capturing the hearts of over 7 million viewers. His inventive antics, including securing contraband for the islanders, made him a beloved figure among fans and castmates alike. Colin's wife, Julia, shared that he passed following a serious stroke, leaving behind a rich legacy of adventure, laughter, and the unforgettable experience of Castaway. His life, filled with love for his family, friends, and the great outdoors, leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew him. Number one, Rob Kamen, a revered figure in the world of Dutch kickboxing and a former WKA world champion, passed away at the age of 63. He was affectionately known as Mr. Low Kick because of his powerful and effective usage of low kick leg techniques. He made an everlasting imprint on the striking arts. His career included not only kickboxing and Muay Thai but also mixed martial arts, where he won his only MMA fight against Nobuaki Kakuda by TKO in 1992. With a professional record that says much about his abilities in the ring, he competed 112 times. Throughout his career he battled and defeated renowned fighters like as Payap Premchai, Samart Prasamit, and most notably, Ernesto Hust, whom he defeated twice, once by knockout. These triumphs demonstrated his dominance and technical ability in the sport. His wife, Carlotta, relayed the news of his death on his official Instagram account, touching the emotions of fans and the kickboxing community throughout the world. Her statement conveyed a profound sense of loss and unwavering love, sentiments shared by his sister, Monique, and everyone who knew him. His legacy as a kickboxing pioneer, commitment to the development of striking techniques, and role as an inspiration to future generations of fighters are unparalleled. His dedication, skill, and love for martial arts have left a lasting mark on the combat sports world. Tributes to Rob Kamen, 